What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Are you ready to prol proliferate? You ever say proliferate? Does anybody say proliferate instead of proliferate? Does it ever slip out where you're like, I'm going to proliferate? Does anybody do that? Just me? Okay. I missed the queue. We were in the queue for like seven and a half minutes. I like Elspeth Conquers Death. I like Verdant Catacombs. Verdant Kitty Catacombs. Man, my work seemed to proliferate while we were waiting. Well, that's a bummer. How does Murderous Rider have anything? Well, I think you just have to have removal spells. You can't just not have removal spells. Not every card can proliferate. This guy is just plus one, plus one. Like, that doesn't proliferate. Well, you could be like, what does Verdant Catacombs have to do with proliferating? Like, it's just, you gotta have, you gotta have things. I'm gonna take the Verdant Catacombs. I kind of want to be green because, oh, and then we get to buy you. I kind of want to be green because... That's cool. Um, I think I'm just going to take the Bayou. I like Jade Light Ranger, but nothing in this pack is super exciting. Wow, so I guess the theme of this queue is that we were lying to. Yeah. Uh... I don't think Murderous Rider was ever trouble. I mean, it's just a solid removal spell. No one's ever like, this card is broken. Plus, you got to pay two life for, for uh, Murder Shrider. So it's like, who can even afford that? In this economy? Please. Well, it never comes back. I mean, it goes to the bottom of your library. Like, unless you have a way to search out an instant or sorcery, which is extremely uncommon. I mean, don't, yeah, but don't, don't confuse power creep with, like, everything's gonna, I mean, like, but also you're, you're paying two, right? So, like, I can count the number of times where, like, the two life I had to take was more relevant than getting the creature out of it. Like there's times where I'm just not going to cast a three mana creature, you know, like it's just sometimes that's too expensive for not a, not a big enough impactful body. I don't know what I'm taking here. Maybe rich car. Yeah. Let's take a rich car. I'm going to take wall of roots. Are they going on the sideboard? I don't know. Sometimes I just put everything on the sideboard. I think when my first few cards are lands, I just start putting everything. I'm like, everything, everything's going over here, buddy. I actually like Ember's Dean of Shadow a lot. I think I'm going to take that over the Overgrown Tomb. Oh, Jang Yang Yu. Put a one encounter on creature. Each creature has... So it's basically just like a... It's a Planeswalker Rish card, basically. I'm actually really tempted to play this because you just like draw three cards when it dies. You know, if it, if it, if it goes to, to, to completion. That is. None of these other cards are super exciting. We're not going to have enough artifact creatures. I actually, let's try Dusk Urchins. Oh, a Talisman of Resilience, but also a Talisman of Hierarchy, which lets us play white if we'd like. I do kind of like that a little better. 
I mean, I'd always rather play three colors than two. I just like to keep my options open. So we're gonna keep. We're gonna take that guy. Drafting decks has traditionally been the first step in going 0-3, so all sideboard is a good choice. It's a new strategy I'm trying. Wouldn't you like to get away? Uh, Vish Call is interesting. Like, we have Wall of Roots and Rish Card and Talisman to ramp into this guy. <clears throat> I kind of like a big 5-5 five, five flying lifelinker, especially in black, because, you know, you can't tear it. <laughs> I mean, me and Dan Snacks are chatting now about... uh. Oh, Shambling Van came back about the thing we were, we were talking about earlier. Um, yeah, I'm just taking a Shambling Van here. Sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Is, okay, is Vish Call wearing sunglasses? Because <laughs> that's really kind of weird. Hold on. Let's take this myriad construct. I think it's better than either of these two. Um, can I not pop the thing out? Can I not like, where's the preview pane? What if I have bad eyes? Look with your bad eyes. Hold on, let's go to deck size. Oh, that's really, that's really all you're gonna give me? Okay, well. Eh, I'm just gonna take endless one, even though this is such a shitty um, stone coil. Like, it's just, it's literally Stone Cold, except it doesn't have protection from multicolor. It doesn't have reach. And it doesn't have trample. I don't know. It's also not a serpent, so, like, I can't even put it in my serpent tribal deck. I don't take, I don't take a lot of Stone Golem, whatever. Like, all these artifact creatures we got. I guess this isn't a creature. If we're being honest with ourselves. We have a good time. Uh, Stone Cold's not a serpent. What is it, a construct? I want to be real sad if it's a construct. I guess it's technically not a serpent, right? Like, that's not how serpents work. I like M-E-L. It's a snake? What? Hold on. Oh, I guess that does make sense, because the creature type would be snake, right? It still feels weird. Fuck, it is a snake. Wow. I don't know why that blew my mind. For some reason. I'm going to take M.E.L. I think it's good. Oh, Godless Shrine? I like it. I like it. I would take Soul Herder. I think Soul Herder is really good. But uh, I'm going to take the Godless Shrine here. Now we can get it with Bayou. Or uh, Verdant Catacomb, rather. <sighs> Alendra. Alenda. I always get Alenda confused with Alendra because they both exist in Magic and they're literally one letter off. Alenda is just Glen Alendra with an extra, with, with less of an R. I do kind of like Search for Morrow. I also want to be ramping to, the, to, my, to this Vish call. If we get Stone Cold Serpent, this guy's just getting out of here. Cytoplast Rootkin's actually pretty decent too. Especially if we get one of the things that like double the counters, because then you put extra counters on this guy, and then you can give them to someone, and then they get two counters instead of one, and then you can use his ability to move one counter back onto him, which actually moves two counters back on, but they only lose one, and then you can put one back onto something else, which is actually two counters. It's a whole thing. You get it, I'm sure. This thing is also bananas.
Yeah, I'm going to take the Untethered, Untethered Express. Crew one, this thing was bananas and limited. Wouldn't you like to get away? Um, no, sphere, mm. pentad prism, no, I'd rather have sphere than pentad prism. Actually, let's take Cathar's Crusade. Maybe that's actually bananas. We also have two double white cards now, so I'm glad we took the Godless Shrine. We have Shambling Van and Verdant. So we have actually three ways. It's funny because we have three ways to get white mana, but only two ways to get green. So we actually have better fixing for white right now. And we took this Talisman. And there's a Temple Garden. And not much else. I'm not going to take Sinuous Vermin. Would I consider it? Probably not. Mana base is looking hot, though. Some of the fixing wasn't that good for this format. I was just like, I don't think that's true. I think it's actually very, very good. I forgot who that was. I kind of like emergent sequence here. Yeah, I'm going to take the emergent sequence. I didn't like this at first because I'm like, wow, they'll just kill your land. But the thing is, if they kill your land, it's fine because you consider just playing this as a 2-2 two, two for 2. Let's say it's a 2-2 two, two for 2. You play your land on turn 2, you cast this, now you have a 2-2 two, two for 2. If they kill it, you still have the same amount of land that you had before you cast this. So you're not out lands. Like at first I thought I was like, man, who wants to ramp into a land that they just kill? But like if you're only looking at it as a two two with a two two for two with upside, the upside being that it can tap for mana, right? Look at it as like look at it as like a servant of the conduit. We're just taking Dragon's Guard Elite. That's actually pretty decent. We don't have a ton of instants and sorceries, and by that I mean I don't think we have a single one. Huh. Glamour Point Stack, are you better? Not really. I'll just take this, because, I mean, we have a whole of the pack, and we have to start picking up... Oh, Alinda came back. All right, I'll take an Alinda. Nothing great here. I'll take the Fixing Lane in case you want to splash something... Take this guy. Don't care about you. Banishing light, I enjoy. Wander strike, probably not terrible. Blood Chief's Thirst also pretty good. Kills Planeswalkers as well, which is nice. I think I'd pretty much only consider Banishing Light or Blood Chief's Thirst here. I like Blood Chief's Thirst a little more because it triggers Dragon's Guard Elite. But it is double black, which is not nothing. And right now we actually only have one double black card. It's a seven mana card. I'm going to take the Banishing Light because of that. Oh, Contagion Engine? Sure. Let's always take Contagion Engine. And I don't know how you even pass this in this cube. It feels pretty bananas. I'm hoping Night of Autumn comes back, but I have my doubts. Yeah, Contagion Engine is wild.
this in Quagmire. I actually don't mind having Apostle's Blessing. There's such, it's just such a valuable tool. Liliana, not the worst. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five fixing lands so far. Not terrible. Wooded Foothills also gets uh, Temple Garden and Bayou right now, so it does get all of our colors. We have 12 creatures. I kind of want another 3-drop. I think it's just Hooded Hydra. How do I like this cube? I think it's been fine. Let's just take Hooded Hydra. I think with, with, the, with the ramp especially, this is just a better... Like, if we can get to, like, six man, I'll just play this as a 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to take the feet. I think feet's actually great for us. And also, it's uh, it's like the Apostle's Blessing we were considering. But it also triggers Dragon's Guard Elite, which is nice. <sighs> Winding Constrictor is pretty sweet. What does Winding Constrictor go well with? This? Th well, actually, does it kill this? <laughs> Grimbaba just enters with four counters, and you're like, all right, I guess he's dead. It's really good with that. But this is the Great Henge. I'm going to take the Great Henge. I can't pass a Great Henge. That's bananas. Hmm. I don't think we're ever going to have Metalcraft. Is it just Yehenny here? Could be either Poison or 1-1 one, one that makes 1-1. One, one. Seems fine. Yeah, let's just take either Poison We don't have a ton of removal, so it's actually all right. What do you do? Menace, Death Touch, and Undying. Okay. Genesis Hydra could be good. We have Great Henge. Uh, Search for our Rishkar... Wall of Roots and Emergent Sequence. It's probably better than Fertilid. Yeah, I'll take this guy. Man, we could have had so many ways to splash red between Firelit Thicket, Stomping Ground, Badlands, and Wooded Foothills. Not many great red options, however. I'll take Savage Swipe. We don't have much removal. I'm going to take Endless One out. Buddy, Stone Call Serpent, you are not. I'm so sorry. Uh, Wanderer's Strike came back. I'll take that this time. I read 24 cards. This is also basically a one drop most of the time. I think we can probably take the Elite out, to be honest. Doom to Center. Not unplayable. Look, another way to splash red. So much fixing. Actually, Great Hall of Starnheim is nice. Sack like Doom to Center, make an angel. That's actually pretty good. Sure. Sure. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So you have like two cuts here. We have 14 creatures. I think we can cut the Express. Actually, maybe not. Let's cut the Express and the Dooms Guard Elite. I think we have like two two cards that trigger this. And that actually makes it just a 2-2. Two, two. Like we have Feet. And I think Wander Strike. And I guess Search. So three. We have three total cards. And Savage. So four. Okay, it's going to keep going up, I guess. I still don't think four is enough. I think this looks fine. 13 creatures. 
Oh, what up, Super Fritz? Um, okay, let's actually take a gander. Look at that, we ended up heavier white than black. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with the talisman. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with the talisman. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Nine, nine, seven, huh? Well, we're going to eight here. We'll take out a black. So eight, eight, nine. I think it's actually. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, let's do that. It's a lot of forests, but that's okay. Oh, looking for a living. And then we just gotta hope we can uh, find a match. Okay. I do the ordering too. No, my inventory is very meticulous. I do the ordering too, so I need to figure. Yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. I really like Embros, and I'm not sure if I want to just play Shale, especially with no other creatures. I guess we can play this guy on three and then put a counter on it. It's only five to flip. That's really that's decent. It snowed again last night, and Colorado has by far the weirdest weather I've ever lived in. Did they mulligan to four? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, that is a thing, I guess. Or on the play as well. Hmm. Do we just play that instead? No. It is the children who are wrong. Yeah, I'll take three again. 36 pounds of mayo in the store. Jesus! Um, let's go with this guy. Put a counter on it. Play this. Now we can at least block this guy. I don't really want to take six here. I don't want to just die to their Molda four, so. Let's get down to business. Cast face down. No blocks. Eight I can work with. I guess I should have attacked, but if they have a way to kill this, I'd rather put counters on all my guys. Oh dear. One, two, three, four. Can you imagine if I like got the cost wrong? Well, we got the block at least. So now we just get to play Contagion Engine. <laughs> They're actually doing quite well for themselves. Finally get rid of this guy, maybe?
Okay, Tuskard Captain. Cytoplast Rootkin, eh? Okay. All right. Well, man, do you measure me in pounds or gallons? That's a good question. Old Christopher with the hard hitting questions here. Uh, no, I will not move a counter. This is actually, they're doing quite well for, for a deck that mulliganed into oblivion. Oh boy. I feel like I've, I sacrificed this. Oh yeah, I definitely should have been attacking because this is, has what's, what's, what's known as vigilance. I don't think anyone corrected me on that, but that's worth noting. Oh, I guess we're going to need a swamp for that. I'm going to say yesums. Three, four, five. Get in there. Well, we're going to do this anyway. Uh, done. Boop, boop, boop. Might as well get the extra two points in there. Uh, there's a way to always to like never yield to your opponent, right? Like that's what I want. Liquor Wisp. Okay. Well, that's pretty good against my seven seven. So we can put this to eight, nine, ten. Interesting. I guess we can actually just wait and give pro white. Yeah, that's probably better. Out of you, be a man, you must be quicker than raging fire. You must give your angel pro white. Mm, still no, still not going to help him out. Okay. Oh, Great Henge would have been nice. That's a two mana spell right there, my dudes. Um, I actually kind of like planar outburst here. We don't have a ton of creatures, so maybe this is just better. It does kill our land, so we can let's take out emergent sequence. Who knows if that's correct? Who knows? So literally two black sources. Uh, that's a snapperino. Let's get rid of a forest. That game felt way closer than it should have for them mulling to four. Just gonna put that out there.
Taking one. Okay. Let's play this and we'll go get Temple Garden. Well, that's pretty good. We did not get Temple Garden. I really don't want to take an extra two now because I'm stupid. Um, just get Bayou, play land. Of course, you know this means we're going to draw. Planar Awakening. Is that what it's called? Oh, what up, Jimmy? Okay, it was all fine. I kind of think we just play construct here. Uh, one, two, three, four, sure. Okay, so <laughs> we're really getting to a point where like, we're blowing up the board would be really, really good for us. I think we have to kill this guy. Uh, so we can't actually Savage Swipe here because then it targets this guy and he dies. So let's not do that. So I guess we're just going to play this guy. Get rid of this guy. Play this guy. And pass Arena. Liquor Wisp? Always Flicker Wisp. Target of a spell. Okay, so abilities need not apply. Hmm. I 
I am tempted to savage swipe this onto like this guy. He'll have three toughness, so then he can go block, block. He can deal two and one. One comes off here, but then they get one on here and here, but then they have this guy, this guy, and this guy left. I don't know if that's any good. We gain four and get the Bondkin off the board. I honestly don't even want to play Wall of Roots because I think one of our strategies is definitely dependent on casting Player Awakening here. Probably just passing. Flare was, thankfully, is not too detrimental for us. Shalai is pretty good. We're definitely going to kill that, though. Okay, that's going to be pretty decent. So now we have a 4 or 5 with 3 damage on it. So, like, we can attack and they can just block with the first. Yeah, that seems bad. Let's not do that. So, we have 1, 2. Now I kind of want to play Wall of Roots because of the Cathars Crusade. Yeah, we actually could have tapped better. We could have tapped this, this, and this to activate this to then shoot. And then we could have tapped the Shambling Vent and the Forest to play this, keeping Rishkar up. Now instead we have Shambling Vent up. So do, do as we say, not as we do, kids. The strategy was sound. The implementation was not. Sure. Okay, that's a freebie. Sounds good. One thing I have noticed about this cube is there are a lot of stalls. There's a lot of like ground stalls. That guy's good. Four. I think we're just playing Crusade here. One, three, four, five. Still in a position where, like, if they play Hanged Executioner, we draw Planar Awakening. I'm just casting it. It's just too good not to. Uh, yeah, I don't have any Reachy boys. Do you think it's going to be the next card? Maybe. Oh, well, they're just playing everything out. This is... Here we go. It was a godless shrine. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, let's play that. Two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. So we can go Emil. Trigger all the things. Put a counter. Oh, what? What? Oh, it taps for mana because it has. <gasps> They, everything taps for mana now? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm getting rid of this one because I really don't want it to kill any of my other creatures. Uh, you Proliferate does not target, so... Alright. That seems decent.
When do we start beating down? I actually don't know. I don't feel like our defenses are good enough to just throw creatures. Like, they could just be like, all right, I'll take 12 and... Oh, no. Sack and enchantment. I honestly think Banishing Light is worse than Cathar's Crusade here. They don't have a ton of counters on things. No, because wall can only be activated once a turn. You don't just alpha here? Alpha, please. You're at 19. I can't even crack back and kill you. Okay, well. Sure. Uh, I, I kind of hope we draw a planar awakening here and just punish them, but... Hmm. Like you do. Whenever another creature enters a battlefield under control, excellent another creature that returns to the battlefield for three. So wait, we can... Hmm. We can tap and then... Hmm. Huh. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. Where we, like, remove a counter, tap it, blink, remove a counter, blink, remove a counter, blink. Like, it's not... Wow, I guess I should not have given them the Evolution Sage. So we have to six, we have to have nine. I really wish I had a way to get rid of my Myriad Construct right now, to be quite honest with you. I guess we can actually sack something to uh, Great Hall and make a 4-4, four -four, which does block at least. Oh, they all have first strike? Yeah, see, this game is probably over. <laughs> I actually totally forgot they all have first. Just put everything in front of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what why they wouldn't do that. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. Um It took them wow, see that would have been a good draw. Like we have several oh planar outburst. I keep calling it I keep calling it planar awakening because it has awaken in it. So I figured that would make that would make sense as a name. Um do we have anything like... Nothing that really deals with flyers very well, so I guess we're just going to hope they don't kill us with that. Man, I feel like Grim Poppet, Contagion, Engine, and Planar Outburst all would have been great there, but... Also Vish Call as a 5-5 five five Flying Lifelinker. Yeah, for some reason I actually forgot to the lifelink, but I mean like... I don't know. They we we had them going. They might have just taken two, in which case we could have gained like four. I don't know. I, I don't think it mattered. I think that turn where they literally kill our banishing light. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Dusk urchins might do some work here. Um, where they literally kill our banishing light, get their evolution sage back, put counters on all of their guys, which I was not expecting, and then proliferate those counters. Uh, that was probably good enough to win the game.
Dude, I love the yeah, the, the old border cards are just fantastic. They're definitely my jam. That was weird. Oh good. Actually, that's a pretty good draw. I will 100% block if you'd like. Okay, again. Okay. So you got two one ones right now, is what you're telling me. Okie dokie. Interesting, interesting. So next turn, we're definitely going to sacrifice this guy to make a 4 4, I believe. I am tempted to just kill this guy with the savage swipe here. <laughs> it's your boy. Oh, it's Michael B. This guy gets a plus one, plus one counter. If you play a white spell. Oh, I just don't think it's worth banishing lighting or savage swiping. I don't want to light or swipe it. Sure. <laughs> nope, that's got to be the black, black, white, white. Why is a stack over there? Why does it move? That was a good turn. Feeling okay about that. Boy, they're sure living that... Uh... So this guy gets an extra counter, sure. I'll make that a 2-2 two -two and trade here. If that's like the most you're doing with your proliferate card, then I'm more than okay with that. Big Daddy Cytoplast. Get in there with your Cyto Daddy. Yeah, we'll just pass here. They can't activate their Quagmire. What does this do? Oh, you're blinking your own cast out. That's pretty good. Wait, what? Wait, didn't it? Oh, okay. I was like, because it, it, this guy triggered, so I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, they're blinking cast down. But next time we can get rid of cast down. Boy, they sure have. Sure, have a lot of things happening here. One, two, poisoner. Yeah, that's fine. I figured this is probably just going to trade anyway, so we don't really need to counter on it.
I don't think we're attacking here. This guy just gets double blocked, and this guy Thank they just you. block here. Trade a good a good death touch creature for a pretty disposable creature, and then this guy becomes a five five. So not ideal. I think we're just gonna play Dean Ambrose. Oh, Mucho B, fifty three months, man. Do I want to put a counter on him? Maybe. Is it whenever another creature? Whenever a creature with a counter dies. Oh, yeah, then we're definitely putting a counter on Dean. Grim Poppet's been very good every time, yeah. I'm always like, wow, Poppet, you're really doing the dirty. <laughs> 53 months is older than me. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything. Too generic mana, huh? So now... This is fascinating. I feel like this guy's kind of an engine. Like, we could put a counter on here, put a counter on here. Ambrose. Okay. Uh, no, I will not move a counter to that guy. I feel like this Aether Poison is really holding down the fort here. Okay, it deals two. Put a counter and deal two. Yeah, you got it. Wait, what? Oh, that's not... Move a counter from a creature onto this. Never mind, I'm, an, I'm dumb. It's gotta be Grim Poppet here, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven. <laughs> oh man yeah Michael literally bought us like all Magianos last week it was like $150 meal like we just we totally indulged ourselves and Michael's like I just want to buy you dinner and I was like that's freaking amazing so me and Katie and Michael all had McDonald's and like Michael's one of those people that like had shitty jobs for a long time but like now that he has a good job and he's making like good money like he's more than willing to like help out and it's it's super generous Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven. So we can either make this a five, five, or play Grim Poppet. This is this deals three to something. So that means their total power on board is four, five. Right? Like we kill this and we neg one of this. We could also remove one counter here. Dean Embrose, this guy. I call him Dean Embrose. Like that's his name. Hey, what up, Dean? I mean, if you're if you're literally at the school, you're going to be like, Dean Ambrose, can I speak to you? Because Dean is a title. It's like Professor Ambrose, you know. I have no idea what to do here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is, I think it's Hooded Hydra. I don't think we're... I don't think Grim Poppet gets us anywhere right now. Do I want to graft onto this guy? Yeah, sure, why not? It's got to be better on that guy, right? Also, guys, I'm really excited. My uh, my secret layer just shipped. The one with the lands in it. The one with the good lands. Oh, it also has the, the Kaldheim uh, showcase titans in it. <laughs> well, all right then. Let's keep one, one, two, three, four, five. 
if hooded hydra ever dies, <laughs> oh boy, we are having a having a having a day. Oh, what up? I am who I am. Thank you. No. Luke, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. All right, what is it going to be? Menace. Okay. Menace seems fine. It's not bad. In fact, it's quite good. Creature. I guess we already have a creature, right? Oh, hold on. Let's see. Oh, God, please let this, please let this work. We sack this, make a million guys, and uh, oh, my God. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, I wanted to sack the Hooded Hydra to make seven tokens, which all trigger Cathar's Crusade. Oh, man, I'm really sad I didn't get to do that. Man. When people, here's a lesson for you guys. When people are going to do cool stuff in the cube, just let them. I had to close an account for a nerd. Michael, tell us all their information. And this hand seems great. I'll keep it. Wall of Roots into Rishkar seems really nice. What do we get here? Bayou? And then we have all the colors? Yeah, that seems right. I mean, if I had an Overgrown Tomb, I'd get that instead, but... Hmm, okay. I see how you're gonna... Oh, actually, we can still suspend it here. Love it. It's not a mana ability. I think I'm good. Plus, I literally sent him all the money left in his account, so not much to take. That's what you think. Land. That's actually a great land here, because now we can play these. Rishkar. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that was actually great. Now the stack's over here over my hand. I don't understand why it moves, but what can you do? Next turn we can play Dean Embrose again. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, actually we can play um we can play Vishkal. Man, they're giving me these lands at perfect times, right? Uh put a counter on you. Tap, 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 tap. I don't know how many counters are in this cube, but Fish call on turn four might just be really good. Okay. That's actually fine. I accept that.
Okay, that's actually really good. Um, yeah, being able to keep up feet and also play Dean Ambrose, which is my bro. Dean, it, what? Interesting. Is there damnation in this cube? One, two, three, four. Dismember, maybe? Not dismember, uh, disfigure? Okay, so you just chump that. I don't understand chumping three when you're at 20, but... Languish? That doesn't make sense. Let me just sack everything to Vishkal. Save this guy, sack this to Vishkal. Even this guy can be sacked now because he has one power. I don't understand what's happening right now. <laughs> He's still going to shoot and murder all, all your bodies. All right. Commit that guy. No, don't like that. Blue. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck is right. Yuck is correct. I think we should have also attacked with Shambling Vent. If we attack with the Vent, we put them to five. If we sack Wall of Roots, we put them to four. Also, because of Dean, if they try to, like, wipe the board, we get to go draw a card, draw a card. And then draw a card, I guess. So, that's pretty good. I'm just looking up something real quick. Wow, all right, cool. I was literally typing something and it all disappeared. Hold on one second. Fascinating. You know what? That's fine. He ain't going anywhere. Hey, little kid can't. Interesting. So 
So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Get rid of this dude. Okay. So we're gonna put counters on all our things. I don't know if that was I don't know if that was game necessarily, but I liked it. I kinda like Genesis Hydra here. No, no. What do we get with this? Just a forest? Oh, a temple garden. Yeah, let's get a temple garden. That seems great. Yield till the next end step. See, this is why I think Vishkal being black is super relevant still, because they still have Executioner's Capsule, and it's like, well, that's fine. But you can't target, like, Dean Ambrose or... Oh, that's unfortunate. Don't take my Dean. I wonder if they take him. They take him feet. Vanishing light. They have two cards left. Interesting. Oh, it's your boy. Well, we're just going to play Dean next turn. Feet after that. Oh my god, is that the slow jabroni himself? My boy Justin High? Just sneaking in the chat like, like nobody's business? Alright, let's play... This has been a pretty slow, a pretty slow game. Wallace Ray, what are you doing? Okay. 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 I gotcha. What are you doing, you little turkey? Okay. I'm gonna have six here. They killed my guy. Oh, they essence scattered it. I didn't even tell Ike. I was I was I was grabbing your boy. What are you doing, sir? Okay, they're doing nothing here. I'm just going to keep playing black creatures that they can't target with Executioner's Capsule.
I'm put you down, okay? Ready? <laughs> Doge love does equal true. Is this non-black, non-artifact? No, just non-black. And if they target this, it still dies. And we don't have a fifth land to feed of resistance anything. So that's unfortunate. I guess we'll get in there for one. I mean, as soon as we play MEL, they're just going to kill it. So... I feel like it's just necessary. Just, just keep the keep the feet up. I do like Tesseret's Gambit when they don't have anything to proliferate onto and it's just literally draw two. Land. I guess that's kind of like a land. Green, green, white, white, and then everything else is black. Let's get another white. All right, they're out of treasures, which is nice. Uh, sure. All right, we're going to go one, two, three, four, play your boy. Yeah, all right, let's see what happens. They know we have this. Yep. This is what I was afraid of, but what are you going to do? Okie dokie. Okay, sure. They have two cards left? All right, I'm feeling actually pretty decent here. Hmm, fascinating. One, two, three, four. Cons. Why do we save this to make it a seven, seven? What does that do? One, two, three, four, five. This is the only thing we can play this turn. Like it gets plus three, plus three. It becomes a seven, seven if we if we kick it next turn. Oh god. Oh god. We have 16 of 7. Okay, so our time is not super off. 
I feel like we just have to put something on the board though, especially when they're so low. I'm gonna cast it. We already have Vish Call. I think it's gonna be fine. He says reluctantly. Oh, interesting. Now they don't even get their petty theft and we get a counter on this. Oh, that's actually really good. That was actually really, really good for us. Are they going to wipe the board? This seems like an aggressive attack when they're at 12. I feel like they're going to wipe the board here. But then we still get a 2-2 two -two and three one ones. I don't know. <laughs> yep, all right, so. Oh, because she didn't have any power, that's, that's, that's fun. That's a fun thing. Wait, wait. Ya boy. Michael B's just realizing that Sloji Baroni is our mutual friend, Justin. Oh, uh, Michael B. Is this sack another creature? It's sack a creature, huh? Um. Yep. All right. Well, they've dealt with our threats pretty well. I almost want to wait to cast this. We're not attacking with him next turn. And they're definitely not going to play anything into it. So I might as well just wait to cast Grim Poppet, to be honest. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to cast it here. And they're at eight. So. The next turn, we can just make a four, four. That's not bad. A simple country tutu? That's a country tutu. Y'all got one of them simple country tutus? This guy is doing the Lord's work here. Oh, dang. See, but the thing is, if we actually sacked it to make an angel, they would have just bounced the angel, which is just worse, so... Now we're going to play Grimmy, Grimmy McPopperson. Oh, wow, you have another card to play. Oh, boy. I think we're going to draw seven here, guys. That's actually really good. Because they have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They have 14 mana, so they can actually commit to memory and then still have 8 mana left. Yep. Seems good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What if 10 mana? So we can go this, this, and this. Or we can just play Myriad Construct, which for, for like 7,000. And with 10 mana, we can actually play this and play around Metallic Rebuke. We are worried about Essence Scatter, I guess. Interesting. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll have nine. Now I don't want to do that.
What you essence got are the Rish car and not the Embros. Interesting. I think they were afraid of what we might play otherwise. Well, they only have four cards left. Now they have two creature lands, though, so that's pretty good. And they can also attack for, like, eight here, which is a lot. And this is a lot of mana for whatever they're doing. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yep, it's pretty good. It's going to be a land. Oh, a Contagion Engine. See, now we're talking. That's not what we wanted to do. Ugh, now we're just dead. Yeah, wow, that's okay. So for some reason, I forgot that it actually puts counters on rather than takes counters off. Yeah, that's terrible. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, man. This, I, I feel like there's so many little misplays to make in this cube because it's like you're so frequently tasked with remembering exactly how like counter interactions work. And like creatures that make creatures when they die or putting counters on creatures. And it's like. Yeah, the guy was an 8-8. Eight, eight, so it was a, it turned into a 4-4. Four, four. Then we put a counter on it, making it a 3-3. Three, three. And for some reason, I'm like, I forgot that negatives and positives cancel each other out when it comes to counters. So I was like, okay, so I'll make, I'll proliferate the negative one, negative one counter. And that did not, did not work. Uh, this hand's bad, and I should feel bad. Keep this. Put either Poisoner back. I mean, this is a turn three Myriad Construct, which is not terrible, if this Emergent Sequence creature lives. Okay. That was a good draw. Um, still just going to play Construct here. All right. We still have six power on the board. Sure. I want to draw another Black Star so I can actually attack with both of these things. Uh, no. Okay. I mean, they know we have that, so there's really no incentive not to play it here. No metallic rebuke. Left the card on top. This is where they go swamp negative two everything. There's one step one. No step two. So this is where they go Venser, bounce the land. We'll stay back with you. No, still not that either. Okay. My predictions have been bad so far. They're not going to be able to negative five wall of roots, so.
Oh dear. Maybe they are just black suns anything for negative five here. Okay. Still get nothing out of it now. Yep, that's really frustrating. Cool. <laughs> Sweet games. See, this sucks because now I can't tap this for... Each creature with a counter on it has added green. Oh, wow. Rishkar, are you crazy? What is this? Walking Blista? Sure. Insta-kill Rishkar? Sure. Seems good. But this is a 3-2 now, huh? All right, well. So then I have three cards, so the odds of them having, like, something to remove this is pretty high, I feel like. Five, six, seven, eight. They could put two counters on the Ballista. All right, I'm going to bite. I don't know what they could have here. Sure. Sure. Okay. What, really? All right. I mean, that doesn't seem super impressive. <laughs> I mean, it's also worth blocking because they put four counters. They put they, they put it up to four counters, right? So if they had a way to do that, then we just take four and then they kill it anyway. Only, you know, we don't take the damage in this in this bay. In this bay. Um, I'm just going to pass here. I just wasn't expecting them to actually remove all three crystalline crawler counters to kill it, I guess. Sure. I mean, I have to assume they have Essence Scatter or Metallic Rebuke here. Or not. You know what? Just getting rid of it. <laughs> Man, he has a... I don't know what that counter on the right is. I know it's a negative zero, negative one counter, but I don't know what the shape is supposed to be. Is it a root? Who knows? Who knows how roots work? I have three cards in hand. Frost, Trickerino. 
sure. <sighs> okay. All right, so now they can never activate Mishra's factory again. And they have to find a more permanent way to deal with Grim Poppet. I mean, this is a game, I guess. I mean, I'm usually not willing to throw a Wanderer's Strike. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> oh, God. And now they're going to have Spark Double as well. They're just holding Phantasm with Spark Double in hand. Those are there. Cool. <laughs> oh, like you do. Like you do. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Okie dokie. I don't, what are we doing here? We're just going to figure out, like, okay. Sure. I don't know what this does, to be honest with you. This is very confusing. Oh boy. It's actually really yeah, it's actually really confusing like when you're like looking at it and you're like okay, this guy what's 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 this going to look like when it resolves? Yeah, all right, you got it. Chalice for a bajillion. So I've drawn one swamp. Actually, no, I've I've only gotten a swamp through emergent sequence. I've literally have not naturally drawn any black sources. So that's cool.
Sure, <laughs> they're both gone. Sounds good. On the bright side, if we draw black, black, we'll actually have nine mana so we can keep up feet of resistance. So really, well, now we're just dead in two turns anyway, so we don't have time to do that. So we have to draw something else. <laughs> yeah, the end of this, I like how you're telling me to play Vish Call like for the past one, well, for the past four turns, it's been sitting in my hand because we have not a single black mana. Good, good times. Cool. That was a fun game where I literally played a two-color deck and uh, drew three-color deck cards. Seems nice. It's hard to get upset when like you lose to like literally playing only two thirds of your deck, being only to cat being only able to cast two thirds of your deck. But it's also hard not to get upset at that. So I don't know. It's a real conflicting feeling. Amadaris, good games. Yeah, I mean, that game was, yeah, like, I mean, I'm, like, holding black cards and have literally zero black mana on turn, like, 19, so kind of frustrating, but that's magic. I think if I could, if I had one phrase to describe magic, it'd be kind of frustrating. <laughs> and yet here we are, still playing it every day. Yes, I was short on black mana. I was playing a uh, two-color mana base with uh, three colors worth of cards, apparently, so. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oh, well, if it isn't Frankowitz, what up, Chorwit? Let's get a godless shrine here. Another another blue blue black deck. Oh, see, the smart play would have been to play this on turn two, and then emerge in sequence into that. You like how we always figure out the plays after uh, after we make them. <laughs> it's good times, man. Good times. I think it's it's definitely a situation of like my fingers move faster than my brain sometimes where I'm like, just do it. And then you do it and you're like, you should have done something else. And you're like, oh, okay, that sucks. And now we have four lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've seen nine lands and three spells so far. So this is this is boating well. I'm sure we're gonna draw planes off the top. Yep, there we go. And you get to draw two counters, two cards, it seems. And there's the planes off the top that we mentioned. So Shut good. up and take my money. Oh, one something else bug. <laughs> nice. Nice. If you guys want to help out the channel as well by either uh, subscribing or donating for my rent, that would be great. I would appreciate it a ton. Both are great ways to support the channel and uh, both are going to help me because I'm paying double rent in the next two months because our, there's an overlap in our lease. So that's going to be fun. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, great way to help out. And uh, if you guys are enjoying the content, never required. 
And there's another land. Okay. Well, my time is more valuable than this bullshit, so just not gonna not gonna play the game when they have four extra cards in hand and they're making one ones every turn and we have a doomed dissenter on board and thirteen lands, so <sighs> shut up and take my That's money. Nice. Oh, one subscribe, Buck Kerwitz uh like, clearly leading the charge here. Shut up and take my money. Oh, go buck yours. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. You're all my favorites. Hmm. I'm going to play this fat untethered. You don't remember that time we drew great the Great Henge? No, me neither. Our opponents are like, draw three, draw two, draw three, draw six. And I'm like... Uh, I have a card that lets me draw things. And they're like, we don't care. And I'm like, okay. I actually kind of like Aether Poisoner because it does crew the Untethered Shut Express. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one get bucked. <laughs> Jeez. You guys, I think I'm solely supported through your memes. sure why not hey, this deck is bad I see hands like this and I'm just like eh. cool two thought seasons in a row fantastic love it into Memnite. I won't claim to understand it. What is happening right now? Yep, still no plays. So we're literally just playing against Affinity. Got it. What are the odds Dean Ambrose sticks around? It's got to be like zero, right? I think they're trying to figure out like how they can get around me just like shooting their team. Shut up and take my money. Oh, did you know male deer have buck teeth? I did not. What are your thoughts on this cube? It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's not my favorite for sure, but it's definitely like, I, I think it's been fine.
We could have tapped three green. No, we can't. We this we can't tap this guy. I'm always I'm constantly trying to figure out what things I could have done better. I don't know if you guys noticed this. I'm always like, could we have done this instead? Yeah, but I was like, wait, Rich Card's gonna not be able to tap for mana this turn, so. Shut up and take my money. Uh, that's fine, but not great. Oh, one count Chocula Buck. Man, you guys are slowly but surely filling up my goal here, so that's nice of you. Yeah, you got it. I mean, so the thing is, I'm tempted to revoke this, but then they just sack it to Ravager and cast it again next turn, so. Serrated Arrows. Maybe we get rid of the Emery instead. Or we can get rid of the Ravager. But again, they sack it and play it to, yeah, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. To be clear. He's Shut playing. up and take okay. my money. Pirates get some crazy deals in the mall. For example, they can get piercings for just a buccaneer. That's one, two, three, four, five, negative, negative, but they lose their whole team. Sack this, make this a two, two. Sack this, make it a four, four. Yeah, that's fine. Six, Shut six, up and take sure. my money. Oh, one can't count buck. Oh god, you guys are <laughs> so proud of all of you. Oh boy. <laughs> Super friends with the oof. Oh boy. Oh, that's a good one. The problem with Alendra is that they could just sacrifice, they could just serrated arrows it. I did notice it was two. That's why it was funny. That was the joke. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, guys, how are you paying your rent this month? One dollar at a time. One dollar at a time. Also, if you guys have Amazon Prime and Twitch, you guys can link your accounts and get a free sub every month, which is a great way to support uh, your favorite streamers. I prefer it to be me, but it doesn't have to be. Make sure you just use your Twitch Prime subs, though. Just just take all of everything, everything Jeff Bezos offers, just take it from him. The man doesn't need that many yachts. I'm going to actually use this instead. Hope your last card's not a counter spell. Shut up and take my money. Oh, that's the, <laughs> that's the joke. Love a good Rainer Wolf Castle. See, I don't want to attack Baleful Strix now. I don't want to attack with my 6-6 six -six now because of Baleful Strix. You see. Oh, fucking Christ, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I'm so mentally exhausted from always having it. They have zero cards left in their stupid hand. I want to let it happen. I that's fine. I think having Vish call around for the long haul is just better than... Then not. Will you guys stop? You're being a little shits right now. Dang. I think it's time for dinner, but it's not. So they have no cards in hand. And they have this guy. I mean... Sure. Being able to sack this guy to make a an angel next turn doesn't seem terrible. Uh, sure.
Yep, you got it. I don't know what that does, but because they can't kill this guy, so I think we I think they're actually doing very well here. Shut up and take my money. Oh, who wants a treat? I love treats. So let's do this. Put a counter on this guy. And then go one, two. Oh, we don't have a second white? Hmm. Well, that's worse, isn't it? Actually, I guess we can play a Lendra here then. One, two. Three, four. Where X is the sacrificed creature's power. Okay, that's fine. I'm not even gonna. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a little graft. So if I can get rid of this, then I can get rid of this with Dean Ambrose. And then I can get rid of this with Dean Ambrose. So we're really like... We need one counter. I just don't want to sacrifice anything on the board right now is really the problem. It actually did not get them riled up for a treat, comically enough. Oh, that's actually pretty funny. Who wants a treat? <laughs> that's actually pretty hilarious, though. You're a funny guy, Chorwit. You're going to kill my Deany boy? Interesting. So that's not going to work for me. I mean, we're going to still do it. Put X on one counters. Yes. Oh, I don't know what counters, target a creature. Thank you. Yeah, this is kind of kind of a bloodbath, I imagine. Sack a creature. And now I feel like we're actually in really, we can actually just sack this next turn and attack for a million. Yeah, you're basically dead, right? We just banishing light. Well, no, they got two blockers, I guess. But he does have lifelink and that's pretty good, right? Um, let's get rid of this, actually. The reason being that I don't want them to just block and sack. I want the, I want the million life that they're going to give us. They have to block here. They probably block... Okay. <laughs> That's, I mean, they still had one block, right? That's... Did we even have to kill them, actually? MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um... 
I think we're actually just fine here. I feel like I do want another like. <laughs> why doesn't it? What? Why would? Why did they change this so that like I can't double click on things? It's very weird. Like you can't double click to add lands anymore. What's the hold up? I don't know. Well, we're in game three now. Actually, I think this hand is pretty decent. Okay, but I could do without the seventh, the sixth or seventh land that we're going to draw here. Okay, well, that's a guy, all right. Next turn we can go hall, keep up feet if we really want to. Just dropping that. Next turn we can play Dean. Uh, now, now eventually you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello? Let's see. I mean, really, if you're going to use that on my two one ones, I think that's fine. Hmm. I think we're playing that first. Then the next turn we can put Dean in to play with a counter. Thank you. Black, 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 green, green, green. Oh, Crash Maxwell, thank you for the reset for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I think we want more white here. Oh, I guess we're it, it was always gonna be more white, I guess, but uh, one, two, three, four. Sure. Yep. That doesn't stop us from putting counters on our things. Do 
You got it. I will not attack because then they trade and that's not great. That's a good guy. All their creatures are artifacts. So, you know, wander strike and all that. But now they can't save this guy. That seems worse, right? Let's play this lady. I don't, I think we're just keeping feet of resistance up here. Interesting, they didn't, did they sack it to Ravager? Yes, they did, okay. Are we dead? I don't think so. Three, three, four, four. Um, actually, we might be dead here. I think we're dead here. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, we had to deal with two flyers is really the problem. Uh, sh sure. I want to keep mana up because they don't know that we don't have anything, so. I want them to go all in. Okay. <sighs> yep. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.